A yes vote on the continuation of Proposition 400 is saying yes to investing in ourselves. Collectively, we might have differences of opinion over how a dollar is best spent. I 100% supported the version of this bill vetoed last year, which came out of this very chamber. But one thing I know is that we all want what is best for Arizona. Investments in freeways, roads, arterials, mass transit, our basic infrastructure, this benefits us all. This is the most basic function of government. Proposition 400 helped us meet and accommodate the unprecedented growth of our state over the last several decades and will now set us up for continued growth over the next 20 years. Smart transportation infrastructure investments help small businesses like my own to continue to grow. At the same time, this plan also signals to our large employers like TSMC, Intel, LG, and Boeing that Arizona is friendly to business and serious about growing its economy for the long term. In downtown Mesa, where I live and work, Prop 400 has been transformational. If a city doesn't continue to progress and change, then it begins to die. About 20 years ago, Mesa was at this inflection point. The expansion of light rail was the catalyst for change, attracting billions of dollars in private investment. Mesa now has the latest campus of ASU, finished building in the last year, restaurants and shops opening regularly and thriving. People have options on how to get to work and visit their loved ones. This is because of the vision of people sitting in these chairs 20 years ago. It is a rare thing that such a large, unqualified good comes before us, a complete nonpartisan issue. Because we were not elected to be partisans, we were elected to be leaders. And with a yes vote on this extension, we are helping every one of our communities and districts and saying yes to the future. I vote yes.